Hello everyone, uh, today I'd like to make a little demo of a Emacs mod I've been using uh, lately, uh, the, the DAP, D-A-P-E, uh, mod for Emacs, uh, which lets you plug into the debugger um, protocol and, um, and gets you uh, to be able to debug the code. Um, so the DAP mod, uh, there is two DAP mod actually. There is DEP, which is the fairly new one, and there is another one which is from the Emacs LSP project. Uh, the DAP mod that works uh, as well, but uh, DAP mod is a bit more recent and is a bit more close to to the Emacs uh, primitive and uh, how Emacs works. So um, so yeah, it's a bit different and it works obviously with Eglot when uh, that mod from the LSP project uh, works only with uh, Emacs LSP. Uh, so let me do a little demo and show you how it works. Uh, so I have a project which is my day-to-day uh, -day work, um, an open source project uh, based on uh, Golang, that's uh, done on Golang. And I need to uh, debug some uh, part of the code. So usually to do that, I uh, start to, um, to put a uh, uh, what do you call uh, um, a breakpoint? Um, so first of all, let me do the keycast uh, thing. Yeah. Okay. So you can see uh, more of my uh, of what I'm doing. And um, so yeah. So first of all, like uh, you have the prefix control X control A on a DAP uh, that gives you like on the side that's uh, the, my uh, my which function uh, helper uh, that gives you like everything that's available for the prefix. So here's like I have my little wrapper, which called uh, my DAP breakpoint toggle, which is like a function wrapper that I wrote, which I explain later why I did that, and which gets you a breakpoint on the on the code. Um, so so I just put my breakpoint, and I can start my debugging session. So it's something that I really set up. Um, so I have uh, different configurations. So I could uh, just uh, if you see like it's not really it's not, it's like a bit hard to see in there, but the, I have two configuration which I show how I had that as well. But now it's like I want to debug the controller, so it fill up like the command uh, current working directory, the program that we want to debug, and those things like are standard like to uh, to DLV to which is what used for debugging the debugger that's used on the, on Go. And yeah, I can just launch it and it would uh, start my controller under DLV and I'll be able like to interact with it. So first of all, like if you see on the side, you have uh, the scope. So there's no scope at the moment because we are not paused basically. But uh, yeah, when we have the breakpoints on the on the sides and we have the log of the controller that's just uh, started. It's pretty standard things. Like there's other things that you can do with the rep repel and uh, different things but uh yeah that's not uh, something that we're going to cover right now um so so now it's like it's just waiting for events i have a little script that can uh, generate some events uh so currently that server is like is uh, is answering to webhook so i'm going to uh, just do that and yeah i send the webhook so you, as you see you get this uh, arrow on the side that means like that's where you are on the on the code. Uh, on the left, you get all the variable that's available that's exposed, so you can interact with them uh, directly. Uh, so I can see things and I can uh, I can go over uh, stuff. I can even like click on it, and if you see on the bottom, I have uh, I can uh, add uh, like I can change the screen if I want, which I'm not going to do right now. Um, there is another little things like if you use uh, LDoc, uh, which is this is uh, the LDoc, uh, this is the LDoc uh, box. So I can go, for example, I'm just going to step over. Uh, let me go to our uh, to our things. Like uh, yeah, here we go. So PR name. So if I go like to PR name here. You'll see on the bottom, you'll see the value of the PR name in the box with like the definitions in there. Uh, so there's like full integration with LDocs. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with LDoc. Uh, there's different modes 
that lets you uh, show like the documentation of a of a variable and function. And since like the debugging is injected inside it inside LDoc, then uh, you'll get the vi variable showing. So here's like I have the value of the variable going on inside the debugger. Uh, so as I as I saw after like you can do a bunch of things uh, to 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 do uh, like debugger stuff so you can do like next you can do a step in a step out uh you can do even like a conditional uh, conditional breakpoint so for example if i do e for an expression oh uh, yeah sorry control x a e and uh if you see on the bottom in the mini buffer you'll see an expression uh so if i say epr name equal uh, blah blah then uh, it's going to stop and uh, and that uh, just uh, set up like a little uh, overlay on the side that looks pretty nice and show that uh, that you are like conditional. You can see as well here, and you can move between yours by clicking on the, on those. Uh, so basically, you do that, and then you continue and go on and do uh, whatever the begging that you need to do. Uh, be able to inspect uh, the, the 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 structs. And how it's been exposed, and how the, the like everything goes together. So that's uh, that's how it works. Uh, so let me quit the debugger because uh, Control X A and Q, which would get you back uh, into the thing. I'm going to remove the the LDoc uh, buffer. Okay, so we are back. Um, so let me. So now that you saw how it works, let me show you how uh, I did it. Uh, so I have a dear locals, which is the dear local, uh, um, like directory locals uh, for Emacs project. I'll let you read the manuals and uh, how it works. And in that uh, in that manual, like I put my uh, in that sorry in that dear locals, I have my um, configs and uh, which I add for that project. So here's like I have a. Have like what you call like pack watcher. So you said that's the configuration that you saw when we started the uh, the in here. Uh, sorry, when uh, I started here. Oh no, it needs to be on the code. So so that's the pack controller. That's the pack watcher. That's the configuration that you specify in the DR local. Uh, you specify the mode. Uh, you basically the tap configurator port DLV. Uh, something that you need to make sure I actually I think I get eaten by that I can't remember but you need to put like log equal true or you don't see the logs or oh, I can't remember exactly uh, if it was broken or anything but anyways like you can copy that configuration and start from there and after uh, use the delf configurations to be able to understand how it exactly uh, what needs to be to be passed uh, you can as well uh, connect to a remote uh, debugger if you want it, like if you have like a debugger on a container or something like that, then uh, you could do that as well on a remote target. So you are like those uh, those configs, and then you are you are basically set up uh, something else. That's the configuration of the DAP itself. Um, so I have a DAP uh, configured here. Um, I need to define that variables like from the start uh, before it gets loaded. That's a big like doesn't need to it's a bit complicated but uh, that's how it works uh, so that's my uh, function that go test at point uh, I do that because because what's uh, no no sorry that's another thing um, that's my little function that break point toggle and uh, h, uh, h line um, why why I needed to do that is because uh, is because the fringe gets hidden when you get uh, when you get uh, the um, so if I put like a uh, a debug here so so you see here on the side that uh, that gets uh, on the fringe and if I start to split it then it gets hidden so I'm not sure what's going on here so what I did is like uh, I did like a little wrapper I could do an advice and thing like that but I didn't really care but uh, I just uh, highlight the current line at the same time or clear it uh, if it's uh, if it gets removed. Anyway, it's a bit of a hack, and, uh, and I'm hoping to get to the bottom of it uh, to be able to do that. Uh, something else that I used uh, it's the function dap go test at point. So let me do a little demo. So if I have um, test 
a file with uh, some test functions in there. So you get uh, the standard, uh, that's a standard subtest test case things on the, on the something. So if I start like to put um, um, a breakpoint into it, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start uh, the, the the debugger, but I'm going to start the function that I've set up, my dap uh, go test at point, this one. So what it does is like, it's going to detect, uh, it's going to use another algorithm I wrote, which is a go test uh, tree sitter. And it's going to start, uh, I didn't press it. Yeah, here we go. And it's going to uh, debug that specific, uh, that specific uh, function. Um, it breaks into the code right now because obviously we have, so let me remove the breakpoint. So I did the uh, control A, control A, B. And I'm back to the test uh, thing. And uh, yeah. And here we go. I just put uh, the, the thing and uh, now I can do continue. And I just uh, end up. It was stopping on the on the code itself because I didn't remove uh, the other uh, symbols from there. Uh, so yeah, so you get uh, so you get like the same. So basically uh, that little function uh, let you debug the current the current test and set up uh, everything for it. Uh, for the most, like something nice that's coming from the Go test tree sitter libraries, like you're able like to debug a subtest, so it detects automatically the name. So if I want to test uh, this subtest, I just do uh, td, and now it's like it's going to start on this specific uh, one, uh, which is uh, which is the test empty. I can't remember the one I did. But uh, I can expect, uh, I can see it in the TT name. Yeah, test with pull request event. And uh, yep, that's basically it. Uh, well, there's, uh, there's more to see. I mean, obviously, you can go on the documentation of the Emacs DAP uh, project. And uh, uh, no, sorry, uh, this one. Uh, you get, uh, and you, you will see like everything that uh, what it does. There's a lot of uh, different. Uh, functions and stuff and I let you uh, explore and uh, the maintainer is really nice and uh, usually answer pretty quickly on the feature requests on bugs or, or questions and that's it for me I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a good day